Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's games. We have Ross Moyne and Christchurch playing in the semi-finals. Joining me today is big old Nathan Jackson. Give him a wave, Nathan. I'm waving, but you can't see it. Hello. <laughs> hey guys, and we are straight into the champions. Yeah, it's looking like it's be a really good game. Uh, yeah, this is so. Uh, this is in the winners bracket, so. Uh, yeah, so these guys have been able to get uh, win all their games up to now, and uh, there, this will decide who's into the finals. So, uh, pretty important match for both teams, and we see Aurelia Swain Draven uh, banned on Christchurch, and Malachi Mumu and Zinzao uh, banned on the Ross Point team. Uh, they do first pick Nid, very strong jungle currently, and uh, Red Side pick up Gragas and Renga, and then looks like it could be Malphite and Vlad here hovered by Christchurch. That's an interesting pick. Malphite Vlad. I haven't seen a Vladimir played this This Vlad tournament. is very strong, apparently, in these yeah, recent Yeah, he patches. is, but he's one of those uh, he heals obscure like picks. I'm interested to see which one goes uh, jungle here for Rustmine, whether it's Gragas or uh, Rengar, because either mm, can I jungle. Mean, they can always put the Greg's top because Greg's top is pretty strong. Lulu Malphite is picked up, so uh, it's looking like a pretty strong comp already on the cross stretch team. The uh, Malphite engage and then follow up the oh. Lulu oh, is there. Uh, means pretty much anyone's gonna survive, really. That's an Alawi Corky pick. Oh, no. Alawi's gonna be interesting. It's not often you get to see that pick, but uh, yeah. she is strong if. Uh, Get a to like a choke point. She's kind but of Vlad a, is picked up. Flown under the radar, Nathan. But that doesn't matter because obviously Vlad was big. Vlad, yeah, what we said before, very strong. Um, yeah, so they can sort of flex around the top and jungle the mid mm. a, a little bit. I mean, I just want to see a Corky come out. I don't it. want to see Rengar top, but it is something people do. <laughs> I mean, it I looks like to be Rengar jungle, because obviously Greg is top. It looks to be a Vladimir mid. Vladimir could also top, and uh, they've been known to play Gregus mid in previous games. You never know the switch. But Sivir picked up, so allowing the engage on Gregus, Rengar, and Vlad to just be a bit crazy. Just mm. pretty quick. So we're really looking at pretty hard engage comps here with uh, Malphite and the wow. Pacific here. But Looking at quite a lot of poke here from the other team, from the blue side team. Lucian yeah. is probably going to be picked for the ADC because even though... Did he get nerfed this patch or was it 6.11? He got nerfed last patch but uh, yeah, it's, it's reduced the range of his Q and something to do with his second shot. I think it's his second shot doesn't count as a normal auto attack. Like you were it saying does. Uh, earlier today, the three strong ADCs, Kate, Ez, and who else was it? Twitch. Twitch, that's the one. All right, so Christchurch locking in Jana Lucian. Final uh, picks, it uh, pretty much looks like it's just going to be a protect the ADC comp with uh, Nid in the jungle, looking for that extra bit of uh, damage pressure. But uh, yeah, so with all the engage and uh, Ross Moines, like, they really just want to be playing the disengage. They don't want to be engaging. They do have the Malphite need for a bit, a few, a few picks, or a few skirmishes. They're pretty good at skirmishes. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the team fight, if they engage, they they don't do too well because all all of them are engaged. And uh, it's that's a good point. It's pretty just good. Want to see some fights, Nathan. <laughs> Jana's really good against Rengar because when Rengar um, goes into ult, when uh, she sees her leap, yeah, he, she can ult and just knock him away. Was, and uh, uh, final pick is Morgana, which the Morgana uh, severe lane. I don't think it's going to do that much. No, yeah. There could have been better supports. I mean, it's not like there's a thresh or anything on the I enemy mean, team. There's better ADCs as well, but Siv is uh, pretty good. She's but strong. <laughs> Pretty good for their comp. Not the uh, not the top three pick of the day for Nathan. Oh, there's also Ash up there too. Oh, big old Ash. It's not like Siv is bad. She's pretty good. I reckon she's better than Lucian in their comps. Mm. Uh, actually, no, that's a lie. Lucian's pretty good. I'll be Yeah, Lucian's pretty strong. If you protect Lucian, you can go pretty hard. 
Severe's just hoping for that rush in with her ult. Get that ring Yeah, up. so she just wants to get everyone with their ult and just get everyone's steam pile on in. <laughs> just rush the payload, Nathan, that's all. Yeah, the payload should be rushed. But the thing is, if they do that, they have, they have to be careful of Lulu ult, which can keep mm. anyone alive and the Especially with that. disengage. Yeah, I was about to say. And the Malphite ult. And then well. they, re they can re engage with the Malphite ult. I mean, even if they wanted to so, like, counter engage there, as soon as Vera also says slam back in. It is Gragas mid and Vlad top. Ooh. As we were saying before, you were right, interesting. Nathan. Gragas mid pick. Not a fan, but I mean, if it works for him, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're not a fan of anything that's other than ABC. That's not true, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Countdown is beginning, Nathan, and what are your bets on here, Nathan? Who are you going to go for here? Looking at team comp and, you know, play-wise, have we seen in the past few weeks playing? Ross Moyne looks very dominant. Like, their ranks in-game are quite a, a bit higher than Christchurch, but that, that in itself, Christchurch is sort of sort of above, mm. uh, above average. So, I mean, uh, We've seen both teams play throughout this tournament, and yeah, they both have looked well. pretty good. They played really well, but uh, I these think two Ross going to be teams, taking it out. Yeah, I reckon Ross, Ross going to be taking it. Yeah. All right, Nathan, I'm I'm going to say Ross Moyne. Just just to be happy. I do prefer the comp on Christchurch. It, it mm -hmm. is like it feels like a proper comp. Like they just but, they kind of just <laughs> siege up the lane and just sort of push and protect Lucian when they try to engage. But we'll see, Nathan. We'll see. We're up for a good. We're up for a good game. Uh, best of three. Let's hope it pushes to that third game, that nail-biting third game. We've got a minute left, so let's talk a bit more about the comps. Um, yeah. So the thing about Christchurch is that, yeah. So they have a lot of a poke, mm -hmm. so they can just siege pretty well. But um, Ross Point have quite a bit of uh, wave clear with the severe and the Vlad. Mm -hmm. Gragas does a little bit with his key. It's not too great, but I mean, it yeah. does help. Yeah, it does help a lot. So they can sort of stall it out a little bit. Just looking at tanks here, realistically, red team obviously got Gragas and Vlad, but depends if that Rengar starts to build down the like the tanky route. Could be full Rengar. AP Gragas. It is very much possible. I mean, it's very possible, but if you want to utilize them as well, you know, you'll probably go tank. The thing about Lulu is that she can pretty much choose whoever she wants to to make a tank for the fight, mm, mm. the ult and uh, the shield. Mm. And with the Jana shield, like whoever they put it all on shouldn't die because it's the double shields, the ult from Lulu. You can really they say if they put it on Lucian, but he, he gets his heal and you, he gets yeah. mid heal. Like he, he pretty much gets two health bars. You can really see so, that I mean, they've been playing around this Lucian, especially with the peel, with the Malphite ult, the general, the Lulu ult. They're all just like playing around this uh, Lucian. Yeah, they want to they're... wait until Ross Moyne come in to engage mm -hmm. them with them with the Sever ult so they can just use all their disengage. Oh, they're just ready for the uh, the counter the counter attack, Nathan. As soon as we go jump into this match, Jesse, it's time for the uh, the match yeah, league tea talk. The match yeah, what, are, tea what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Uh, I'm actually just drinking water today, Nathan. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to be boring too, but I'm also just drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> I think I run out of tea bags, sadly. But this time, it's not out of a Lord of the Rings mug. It's out of a Toy Story jam jar. Nathan, That's right. You've got a friend. Live in the Toy Story a jam, jam, jam jar. All right, let's go. Yeah, dude. Recycled it for a cup. Realistically, we love a bit of Toy Story jam jar. Is Toy Story your jam? Is it? You're going to be start singing some Randy Newman, Nathan? Some You Got a Friend in Me? You Got a Friend in Me. All right. Well, Ross Moyne, how many skins do they have, Nathan? Skins get wins. Skins get wins. Even on the skin front, though. Mm -hmm. so, Just looking cool. at level five, uh, six and sevens, Nathan. Look at the Most of these waters, champions looking, here. Looking crisp. It's very colourful. Right. There's that platinum diamond. There's that Rengar diamond. They're not cool, playing with their uh, uh, their other support. Uh, Chain Warden, I believe his name is. Chain Warden. Uh, yeah, he's also 
He's also Dom. So Is he now? Yeah. Let's go. Ruby Sidestone here in the Rengar. Hopefully not getting caught by any wards What this game. Some swift kills for him. Nidalee looking to farm up, hopefully. And maybe get some ganks in, in the mid game. Still haven't loaded in yet, Nathan. What kind of... Oh, no, we're in. Is your client working today, Nathan? That's it is. I think working. I was lagging last night. Okay, the good, and good the, to uh, hear. The husband was just stealing all of that. Tell him to get out the house, you're commentating. This is more important. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't joking, Nathan. I was telling the truth. Looking to spread across the map. Looks like there's going to be an early level 1 invade on Rossmine's side, and it doesn't look like Christchurch is going to be there to see it. There might mm, be a they... bit too... Lucian could be in a bit of trouble. Oh, stepping over the line, this Lucian is... Oh, that, that ward was uh, good. Good ward by Lucian. That, that, that ward saved his life, Nathan. Christchurch is looking to get those uh, vision into their red side's red side jungle. <laughs> That's, that's the job, word. Man. Too much red. Now, see, Janna did place a ward there because the invade was coming for that red. Nidalee is looking to take their red immediately as soon as camp starts to come up. I think she's just looking for vision. I mean, she may be looking for vision, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to take the red as well, Nathan. Both junglers opting to start on the blue side of their jungles. Mm -hmm. So Nid's going to end up bot if she does a full clear, and Rangu's going to end up top with a full clear. The old switcheroo, Nathan. Oh, now, man. this Gragas is, is a very good at his uh, mm. mid lane Gragas from his previous matches, so uh, it's going to be interesting how he does against this Lulu. Is he great? So I'd rather I Fader in the matchup. It's just mm. the outranges and the poke. So, Nathan, I'm loving these lane and phases right now. Getting some sweet, sweet CS. It's just Sim the, uh, the textbook jungling, the textbook game, Nathan, really. A textbook game. Don't quote me to that, because I'm bound to be wrong. <laughs> it's all pretty standard here in the early game. First five minutes don't usually pop off. Rengar is taking a lot of damage from that blue buff, but he does have smite to clear it. Yeah, he's a, doing a bit of a, uh, a quicker clear here than Ned, but it's only by a yeah. few seconds. As Ned just clears up that third camp. Rengo has already opted on the for Scarlet Scarlet Grab. Which means he is going to be on the same map as this Nid, but Vladimir getting a lot of damage problem. down here on Morgana. Morgana? Morgana? Malphite. Malphite, And his first blood for Vladimir. First blood for Rosmoin, called Rosmoin. That's it. Bingling his life. And uh, just looking at that fight there, Malphite overestimating his damage against that Vladimir, considering. Actually, got... really big for Vlad. It is he's, huge. He for pretty Black. much now has that lane because I mean he was already controlling the lane. Look at mm. uh, Malphite CS has eight to his seventeen. I mean, so that extra four hundred gold is just going to be do a, do a lot. The fact that it's but Rengar mm. is here playing dangerous it. game here. Does it? But... A lot of damage. Oh, oh flash! There we go. The miss. The need Mr. Q. Oh. That was not good. Maybe... Rengar cleverly using the red to help kill the mid. Maybe if the red buff aggro was changed, we'll see something different. But that is two kills for Ross Moyne, and we'll see a huge lead within the first five minutes of this. Yeah, Rengar's not one you want to be getting the kill on also. No, the he, kills are all on the wrong people for Christchurch, you know. It's not ideal to give up any kills, obviously. I mean, but I mean no. <laughs> but, you don't uh, want him on Rengar. <laughs> you don't want it on Vladimir as well. Especially since he got changed and absolutely buffed. So already, uh, Ross Wine looking 
the only a K ahead. Nathan, I was just about to say that. You know what I say? Great minds think right. <laughs> Now let's yeah. go back to standard landing phase here. And a lot of action going on. Swift dodge from Janna here. Jan was just sort of farming up currently, just yeah. waiting for the next opportunity to gain. All pretty standard here. Rando you really looking. should be looking to sort of get this bolt lane ahead because they're trying to focus all the damage or their hopes Lucian. on this Lucian. So they really should just, she just really should be just trying to get down bot as much as possible. Just looking at vision control early, Nathan. Uh, Christchurch, you've got a lot of vision across that top five map, but Rengar is all over these scuttle crabs. For That's because Rengar's just been things. sort of in their jungle, mm. all up and about it. I mean, but he's been all over these uh, scuttle crabs as well, Nathan. Two for two on these scuttles. Chan is going to take a bit of damage here, but uh, nothing too much happens out of it. No. Chan is just using her shield. To Not sure what's happened top. I think someone may have backed a bit poorly, but uh, Malfoy was able to catch up on about 10 CS mm -hmm. onto this Vladimir, so he's no longer about 20 down. But still a kill ahead with that. That's pretty good. What's he got? What's he got? Spectral's cow. And against the Malphite is quite strong, even though Malphite will be looking to stack health and armor. Armor's and not going to help him that much this game because I there's the Vladimir and the Gragas and the Morgana. It's like it's he's probably going to be too towards great. The I mean, obviously you want the, uh, the armor against this Rengar, so mm. you didn't get one shot. But Rengar is looking to come into a lane gank he's going to be lurking in the bushes, waiting for this Malphite to push up a bit too far. Some good warding here on the top lane, one of the people in the try. Some nice wave control by Rossborn here mm. on their bot lane, pushing that wave and they're just catching the wave back on the turret after resetting it, right it back, to crush it. Start. So they actually pick up a little bit of a CS lead because of it. The top gank is gone now, Rengar has decided to back. Nidalee getting a little bit caught out there, near the dragon pit. Gragas is capitalizing on that. Just with a little bit of hope, but she will hurt my back off. A good Q from damage down on Again, nothing happening. That max Shoot. range Q on Severe. Gragas has actually been able to get a little bit of a CS later mid, and um, he really shouldn't be, uh, Lily should really shouldn't be allowing him to do that. She has the extra range and the Pogue she should be able to just sort of shield his Q and just be able to sort of bully him out of lane, but obviously that's not happening. Lulawal was popped mid, and uh, let's continue to fight bot. Damage out of now, looking at top lane, Nathan, Malphite is taking a huge amount of damage from this Vladimir player. And he's lost the little CS he was able to sort of make up. Yeah, he's now about 30 CS behind. Vladimir is capitalizing on the fact that this Malphite is a little bit weaker against him. Frostborn should be looking to uh, get, get this dragon right. soon. Yeah, so they can sustain the lane better and just see what they can get. It'd be really good if they were oh, able to get you. a cloud break. Right? Mm. Be really good if they were to get a cloud break. Right? Yeah. So, sure. The movement speed would uh, help their engages quite a bit. Mm. And I think that gonna they would be able to just sort of force a dragon here because yeah, they've got sure. the wards down for a TP from this Vlad and he has it up. They've got, they got and the gold Vlad's lead. Just pretty big right now. They've got the Nothing's gold lead, they've got the them. items, Nathan.
That's what we like to see. Rangar's just sort of all up and about their jungle currently, and this Nid could be walking into the kitty trap. The kitty trap, that sounded a bit weird. I mean, Rangar's a cat. But he's been pinged. I thought you said kitty trap, Nid, and I was like, alright, calm down. <laughs> Rangar is being flashed on here. They do know he's here. Forced to burn flash, but he looks like he's just gonna die. He is gonna die. Culling and is able to pick him that up. That is a kill for the Nidalee and 1 2 to Christchurch here. Or oh, sorry, to Rossmorn, but Christchurch. That's pretty good for them because they can, uh, relieves a bit of pressure on their jungler. They can uh, sort and of get a bit more wards back onto the map. The assists were and, uh, on Lucian and Jenna as well. So getting the majority of the team assisted on that kill. But Nid has been walking on wards this entire time and mm. she's just angled. And uh, she will be seen in the wards if she tries to go out of this river. Roscoe, no, she's there. Gragas is heading down. Gragas is just clearing that ward that maybe is in place there. It is Knowing a bad now spot. She's going to go jump over the. Uh, a good engage wall. here. But that was Gragas a nice binding from Morgana. Able to pick up this. Oh. Uh, oh. That was the disengage we were talking about with the, the Jan Neurolf and the, the Lulu. I didn't actually see Lulu walk down. That was a nice play there by... She saw the Gragas go, decided to capitalize on some farm whilst he was gone. But the follow up was there. Very lucky for the Indian that's getting caught out by those wards. Mm. Christchurch actually able to remove that one thing quarter in the uh, push, regaining a bit of control they have over the river. That's, that's slowly relieving the jungle pressure this Rengar had. And uh, it's, it's going to be pretty good for them. It will be absolutely great for them. Vlad is nearly 50 CS above oh. this mouth fight, and that's pretty that's big. Huge. He's already got Spirit Visage, and that's actually going to be a huge That Chef CS game. leads all on the, over the board, except for this Nid and Rengar. I mean, it's the, uh, got 10 CS. Oh, oh pause, pause does come out. Has uh, been out. Not entirely sure why this is, but uh, mm. we'll find out and get back. Oh, it's actually starting again. Oh, there we go. Good pause. I'm not sure what that... Oh, no, it's paused again. I'm confused. Someone send help. I need an add-on. It's been popped off with another pause. Just looking at the chat now, Rengar has gone AFK for a second, not sure why. Um, Nathan, since we've got the pause up here, looking at what's happened now and what we predicted in the Champion Select, have you changed your mind in any way? No, the, the comp is still better on Christchurch like this. They are... Slowly getting towards the point where they can just literally get in strong, just able to save everyone. And they are somewhat preventing this Rangar from getting ahead. But the problem for them currently is this Vlad. Uh, oh. He is pretty strong. Right just hold that thought, Nathan, because there is a gang coming into the top lane. The counter is going both, yeah. huge yeah. damage coming out in this Nidalee. <laughs> he gets crazy heals, and Gragas is heading up for this Nid. And it mm -hmm. could be a dead Nid. Oh, yeah, good flash from Vladimir here. Looking to see Ooh, a nice dead jump there, Nid. Oh, no. Malphite needs to come oh. do something here. He shouldn't be too much of a problem. He Let's should have his W. Disengage. A lot of tower Lulu's coming up though. The they could be in a bit of trouble. Lush Vlad has no flash. Here we go. Drag. Yeah. Oh, Vlad that's dead. a kill on the. Oh, what was it? the Lulu. Looking for a second on this grave, but. Rengar can clean up, yeah. Good flash here. Kill on the Lulu, perhaps, for this Rengar. Good flash of them. Yeah, dead Lulu. That's uh. And that is a wasn't kill. Wasn't the best. A for, good keep uh, from Morgana here. And good flash and heal. See if they're getting very low. Same with Lucian. Forced to burn his flash. Crossjudge oh. actually winning all over the map. That mm, trade top lane in their favour. They were burnt on bot lane as well, Nathan, from that Lucian. 
and the exhaust from the Jenna came out as well. So, Frostwind Botland still has the advantage with a heal and an exhaust on that bot. Ooh. Just looking at the gold lead now, Nathan, still about a 1.2k gold lead for Rossmoin. Can we just point out briefly that Rengar is going the AP jungle item? Is How much oh, jungle is, is well. that the, uh, a new Rengar build? I mean... He get, would get bonus damage on his Q. His Q would be pretty crazy, I think. i tell you That's what, how we'll work. have to see, alright? Wait and see. Pretty interesting. They really need to work on stopping this flat. He's getting huge with that mount I guess. Yeah, he is as well. And the fact that he was able to negate that count uh, that gank from the mid lane was quite good. And that just shows how strong yeah, he is. He can one v two now. They need the third there, the yeah, especially with that spread size. But Lucian coming in hard it does miss but his W. Jana taking a lot of damage there, so force they're forced to bank. He did miss his W. They're getting a lot of damage he could have done to that severe. Christchurch's bot tower is getting rather low for my liking, Nathan. Tempted Q on the Morgana there. Gragas is looking to go for a lane gank with no wards from Christchurch in that lane. Depends how long they sit there for. Nid is around waiting to, uh, to get in there. Mm -hmm. But uh, Malphite does have TP, so it could be pretty risky if they do. A good engage! Nid is there. Morgana here. Ooh. And the dead Janna there. I mean, could have done a bit more something with that, uh, the Grag Assault, but uh, they were playing safe and uh, knocked them away instead of it. Sadly enough. Disengaging with fight. Uh, it's pretty good for them. They do pick up a kill onto the Janna. No. Uh, Lucian is probably dead here. Ooh, nice flash Ooh. by Lucian. Malphite TP is coming in, but I think it might not be enough. Oh! Rank Ooh, very oh, big, nice kill. TP and ult by uh, the Malphite. Glad comes in, oh. pick up the kill, and now Malphite's left on under the turret. I Come doubt on. they'll be able to kill him though, because he is quite... Lulu, Lulu coming picking in up for the, the kill. kill. On Sidney? Or is she a bit too quick? She's a bit too quick. Lulu probably oh, died here. here. And uh, Malphite now needs to get out of dodge. But, uh... Oh, Vlad, hello? Oh. oh, he has his ball. Lucky man. Just in time. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> and it's looking all green lights for Rossmoin as they do get three kills, was it? Plus a tower. Yeah, they only lost two. The uh, the ones uh, Malphite was, which yeah. I'm fairly sure was their bot lane. Uh, no, they got four kills out of that, Nathan, because they were on three. They get four kills and a tower out of that, where Christchurch only get three, two kills, so. Uh, it was pretty good that Malphite was able to pick up uh, two kills there, as uh, mm -hmm. he's been pretty behind in gold. But uh, the Vlad was able to pick up two as well. So, yeah. again, it's just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> and, uh, the gap's Seems not really closing. Uh... As the Malphite gets bigger, so does the Vlad as well. And just a step ahead of this Malphite. I mean, Vlad's nearly 2k ahead mm. of this Malphite. So that's nearly an item. I mean, that's a huge amount of gold. And plus, he's gone straight magic resist against this Malphite. Nid, Lulu. There's actually quite a large uh, gold difference between Lulu and Gragas. Gragas being about 800 gold, or 700 gold, sorry. More than him. Oh, okay. Whilst the other lanes are fairly, fairly even. To counter gank, or dive rather. Rengar uh, is a bit caught here. Oh, I know he's there. The he doesn't have flash. He's dead Rengar. He is dead. But the tower does, he does shred that with the tower. Mm -hmm. and, uh, As they were distracted by Gragas. The Gragas is a bit of trouble here. Oh. He doesn't have flash. He is probably going to fall here. He is a dead Gragas. Oh, hold up. Oh, the calling. And he does and go Jana down. And picks it up. That's what we like to see out of a support. <laughs> probably not the best person to get the kill on, but you know what, Nathan? A kill's a kill. They're going to be looking to pick up this Rich Herald. But the thing to know is that 
I think uh, Ross one there took that bot turret and the top turret, so they did get quite a bit of extra gold from that, because uh, the first out of turrets actually give uh, 400 gold in total. And Christchurch is just catching up on that gold. But it looks like we're going to trade that, that with there. Rift Herald and mid turret, and uh, that wouldn't be pretty good for them. Doesn't look like I would pick up the. Uh, Ross one did pick up two turrets though in that fight. That was. Probably not a very good trade there for uh, uh, Christchurch. They lost three nice. turrets. Uh, they lost three. Because of... I mean, bot lane, yeah. Two bot lane towers and... and top it top. opens up a lot of a map for this Rengar to do um, some his uh, alt ganks. You get so there's no <laughs> longer going to be a, uh, a turret there to reveal him. So uh, Lucian and... has to be pretty careful where he... Uh, where he steps to farm. And as Christchurch capitalized on that little Baron over there, they will get the Dragon, Aqua Dragon. Give them those regens. Got so there's going to be another Water Dragon next time mm -hmm. as well. We'll, we'll be able to get flat patches go. And the mid Alto turret is going down. <clears throat> and it will go down. Oh. Malphite looking here for a possible flank. Oh. Very nice map. A good engage from the Malphite here. Rengar is jumping on that Lucian. A good disengage from the Janna there. Oh. Good flash. And that was a very, very good fight from Christchurch there. Just going in straight in with that Malphite ult. Taking off that Severe. And when that Rengar tried to jump in, the Janna did disengage with the roll, and that was good. That was great. Yeah, they were able to pick up that mid turret too, so mm -hmm. sort of getting a bit more of that gold on their side. Rengar's looking in the background, he's looking here to uh, pick one off. Don't think he should be diving in here. Oh! But then again, oh, I've been wrong. <laughs> Huge just, damage coming out yeah, from this Rengar. Damage out of it everywhere. Yeah. A good Q from the Gonda there. And they're looking to end that play with a Baron. Pretty good call with that everyone there. That would dead. be a good call. And it's going to put them in a very there. good spot to take these turrets. Mm -hmm. That was a very nice play there by... Uh, Cross by knowing that all the disengage uh, ults were down from uh, Christchurch to the Lulu ult, which I only think recently just came up, and yep. the general, but still down after using it on that first bear. Uh, mm -hmm. Some I forget who was picked off. Yeah, Rengo was picked off. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so they're able to capitalize on the fact that they have their ults up still, ready to fight. And minions do they're take that to... mid tower down. It was on slightly low HP. By slightly, I mean about 10 HP. So, able to kill that. Rossborn now sitting at a lovely uh, 6k at in gold. So, uh, <laughs> it's pretty good for them. Vladimir just looking to shove that top lane. Put the minions and back into the base. The Vlad gold difference between this Malphite has once again risen to 3k. So, uh, that's getting bigger and bigger. As we speak, is, uh, not going to be good for them. They've actually got gold leads ever except for support, mm -hmm. so uh, it's not looking too great for the uh, Crusher team. But their their comp is, I reckon, still a bit better at team fighting. So they really have to be trying to look for this Rengar split push to sort of yeah. When there's a fight about to start, he can sort of ult on in because he gets the bonus movement speed. But uh, yeah, or the Vlad split push because he has a TP, which probably would have been a better choice. Malphite and Vladimir just looking to push their minions back into the lands. Putting them back under the turrets. Where the rest of the team Ringo is going bot, just looking for the jungle out. It's a good use by Vlad here, there. split pushing with this um, mm -hmm. Baron. It's trying to just spread this uh, Baron yep, from Vladimir as far as possible. To and Ringo also going bot, they're going for a 1 3 1. Just sort of spread the Baron all over the map, sort of pressure everywhere at once and force uh, Christchurch to uh, react like this play here where they could be in a bit of trouble. Nid jumping in, getting the kill on Morgana, but he's just going to live because of that little lot. And that uh, is a nice pick there by uh, Christchurch. It is a good pick. 
Just this Lulu and Jan are just doing wonders for this team right now. Hmm, Malphite is looking to engage in this Vladimir with the Janna's help. They are both pretty tangy right now. But, Vladimir uh, is look, should look to disengage from this. <laughs> the heals on Vladimir are pretty insane. Ridiculous so I wouldn't be too worried about him. Oh. <laughs> we really got destroyed. Huge damage from that Rengar. AP Rengar is actually doing work and I'm not sure how I feel. And that's him. a mid turret taken as well as a top turret from this Vladimir. Greg is just taking that blue and pink forward, denying them the amount of XP as possible. And how long is it? is pretty there? much just a matter of not being caught out at this point. Mm -hmm. Not getting caught out by thinking they can kill someone when there's like a Lulu Jana just sitting behind a wall somewhere where they can just ult back and just heal everyone. So it's kind of just a matter of just sort of staying, sort of don't get too overconfident. Just sort of Know where they can stay and just get wards. Get that Rengar. Keep vision and just of Lulu and uh, the giant. Get that Rengar just pushing on the squishies and absolutely nothing. Especially with that flash ult engage, that was huge damage from him. And that's what we like to see. He's five and three, with a Lich Bane, a Proto Belt, and a Runic Echo, Nathan. Doing pretty decent in farm as well. Let's have a look at the difference in farm. It, that's nearly a hundred CS above this now fight. It's a very big gold lead right now. He's about 3k ahead of this now fight in gold. Nearly four. That's a bit of trouble. Is Not sure. Deep. Not really with his team, so he could get picked off here if he's not careful. Oh my lord, the flash does come out. Looking to walk away Cross from this flash. here now, so they could re-engage with this a with good ult. From this And they do re-engage, nice Sivir ult. The spare's going to Gragas follow up. does come out from behind, good ult from Rengar and Gragas here. Jumping on that Lucian. Malphite is still on the back of the fight. Will go down. And that was a great engage from the Gragas to Rengar here. Good Q from Morgana. Vladimir just baiting them all out, just taking them saying, hey, look at me, I'm a piece of kills, kill potential out there, Nathan. Yeah, but... Cross Church was trying to engage when they don't really have any, even the map fight ult being used already. Like, they didn't really have anything left to follow up, so they should have just backed out and waited for uh, Ross Point, but yeah. because of that, they've now lost a uh, bottom in the turret and probably yeah. the So, uh, big mistake for them. Classic overstay situation, Nathan. And uh, Rossmon looking to pick up this second dragon. It's just going to be another water one if they do pick it up. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, pretty good for their sustain for these uh, fights. Baron is actually up in a minute 30, so you're going to be want to be setting it up for that pretty soon. And, uh, Price is going to be wanting to get more control over that side of the, the map. They do have a few wards there, already seen it. But they They're are blue, Nathan, more. and they can be peel, uh, cleared. They also they have to be some... careful of this super minions pushing bot lane. They want to get some stable wards on that Baron, just for that Rossmore and doesn't take it. Because they would probably be able to do it quite quickly. The gold lead has extended to over 10k now. So, uh. Nidalee is quite tanky. She's got the ROA build with a Spectral's Cow. I'm still confused to how this Rangar is somewhat working. I He's mean, tanky it's been too. Quite Look at good it. In the last few he should be able to get away there. Oh, Very just... low though. He has proto belt. Like I hello. Mean, you know, I don't know who did it, but <laughs> I've never seen know. it. I only saw it a couple of weeks last week, maybe. When it just don't know who was playing it, but it was just huge damage coming out. Now staging up mid turret, the wave clear is probably a bit too much in the poke as well. 
bit too much. They don't have the range. Rengar for the fight, so what's more, we'll struggle for a fight here. If they do get a good Malphite ult off, Christchurch would be able to kill some of them. They are pressuring both side lanes though, so they're gonna, someone's going to have to go deal with that bot lane. So it mm. could be quite an easy pick up for this mid turret. Lulu has Get headed bot, so this could be their moment. Yep, Gragas is going in. Gragas. Nice ult there by Gragas putting the entire team up. Rango going in, killing the Janna. And then Malphite needs to just try and run away. So you're just getting rid of the squishies like that, Nathan, makes a huge difference. Yeah, they just we're just waiting for Lulu to head bot lane, because yeah. so, there was no wave clear anymore. And just. It was a 4v5, so it was pretty easy engage for this Ranga, uh, Ranga, sorry. The fight is still continuing, but it's a bit too far onto their uh, Look count. This. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> but they are looking to end the game at this point. Both turrets going down here, and uh, the next is gonna be Let under me. attack. <laughs> is absolutely killing them with his life still. The teleport does come in. You Final few kills. Yeah, for the Ross one side. And that they is a game. And game one. Ross Boyne pick up the first game of the series. They're going to be heading into the next game with match point. Match point, Nathan. So I think we're going to be have a short break. Five minutes, I think, before uh, the next game comes in. Uh -huh. So uh, stick around and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.